have five parts to an essay. Gabriela, what's the first part? This thesis statement. This thesis statement, but what do we, where do we find that thesis statement? At the beginning of the paragraph. In the introductory paragraph. Very good. After your first body paragraph, in your first body paragraph, actually, you will find your topic sentence. And after your topic sentence, what will you find? Supporting, Supporting sentences. sentences. Right. So you begin your essay with an introductory paragraph. You must have a thesis statement. And this is what we will be discussing today. Your essay revolves around the thesis statement, right? So then you have your first body. Your then you have what? The second body paragraph. And in this one, again, you will also have a topic sentence. You will also have supporting sentence. And you have your third body paragraph. Third body paragraph, which again, you will find what? Topic sentences and supporting sentences. Exactly. And then how do we end? A concluding paragraph. A concluding paragraph where you will reword your thesis statement. <coughs> now if you notice your introductory and your concluding paragraph are both in red, right? Both, both your beginning and your end will be similar. Remember, like we said, you're fighting a point, you're arguing a point. So you need your concluding paragraph will be what will close it up and say, well, this is my point. <coughs> Let's look at the first body, second body, and third body. Your first body, second body, and third body paragraph will be your... Emphasizing on the it will be, introductory paragraph. It will be emphasizing, but it will also be supporting your introductory paragraph. And if you look closely, you will be needing a topic sentence for every paragraph. And look at your introductory paragraph. What will you need? Your thesis statement. And your thesis statement will have to speak about the topics. Very good. Your thesis statement will speak about all three paragraphs. So let's look at thesis statements. What is a thesis statement? What will your thesis statement do? You say what you want and point you to and then say what you argue about. Your reasons. Right. Your thesis statement will say, well, I am fighting this. And it will give your opinion. It will say how you're fighting. Why you say this is why you agree or disagree with that, right? So your thesis statement is very important. What will your thesis statement do? It will set the tone of your entire essay. Why? Let's say we're talking about pollution. What will your phone be for pollution? How will you be discussing? What will you be talking about? Will you be against it or for it? Against it. And if you're against it, then your thesis statement must show that and you must prove that, right? And then as you go along with the rest of the essay, you need to go back to your thesis statement. So whatever you're going to discuss in the first, second, and third body, must be mentioned in your thesis statement. You need to have an effective thesis statement. Why are we writing an essay? Express our Inform. I like this one. Very good. To inform. To inform. And obviously to read. So when you write an essay, you need to always keep in mind that somebody is going to read it. If somebody is going to read it, it must be what? It must, be it must be interesting. You must be able to connect with the reader. So it must be interesting, right? No. I go back to my question. So then why is your thesis statement important? So that the, so that the person doesn't get bored in the beginning of the... Alright, good. Scene. Let's reward that. Exactly. Very good. It attracts the attention of the reader. So, what your thesis statement will set again, what will it set? What will it set? Good. The tone. Exactly. I, so you need to remember you're writing for the reader. You're, so let's look at how will your thesis be strong? And then first of all, do you answer the question? Right? So if you're told to fight your point against pollution, did you answer that question? Did it tell you? Did you completely write? Everything on pollution. What is the second one? Can my thesis be challenged? Can your thesis statement be challenged? What do I mean by that? Okay. Other opinions. 
Maybe the reader has another opinion. So if somebody can read your thesis statement and say, no, I don't agree with that, do you think that's a good thesis statement? Now, good thesis, thesis statement is because many the challenge you can later on in the essay, you approve it to me that what you write uh, do. All right, so then maybe they're good. Yes, yeah, so you, you want your thesis statement to be challenged. You want somebody to say, no, I don't agree with that. Because if somebody says, oh, oh this is, you know, our, our has no opinion to it, then you have not thought your point properly. Is my thesis specific? What do you mean by specific? Straight to the point. Straight, Straight to the point. Exactly. Now let's look at what do we mean by straight to the point. If we're going to be talking about cars, and I say cars are fun. Do you think that's a good thesis statement? No. Oh. Oh. Why? Yeah. Why? Yeah. 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 Pollution is bad for the environment. Do you think that's a good thesis statement? Why? How? So can you read the second one for me, please? The pollution created by modern game factory is slowly destroying the Earth's vegetation and wildlife. Do you think that's a better thesis statement? Yes. Why? It, it, it expresses why pollution is bad, bad for the environment. So it goes more into what? Did it answer the question? Did it, well, if your question was, is pollution bad? Did you answer the question? Do you answer the question yes. here? Yes, yes, yes. yes. So why and how? All right. Can you think that, can that be challenged? Can somebody say, but not all factories? Yes. Can this be challenged? No. Yes. 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 What about it being specific? Do you think it's specific? Does it go straight to the point? Yes. 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 It says right there, the pollution created by modern day factories is slowly destroying the earth's vegetation and wildlife. It just really clearly says what pollution does, what pollution is doing. So it's more specific as just pollution is bad. Why is pollution bad? Yes. 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 So do you think that maybe we could have added a little more? Yes. yes. I think the pollution created by water rain factors is solely destroying the earth vegetation and wildlife by yes, and you add a little more, right? Yes, ma'am. But either way, this is definitely a better thesis statement than the first one. The first one. So let's do some work. Six examples of thesis statements here. I want you to find the three thesis statements that are not effective. So let's get to work. So Ingrid, what was the first one that was wrong? Number one. Number one. So number one says... The serum score is... What do you think? It's, it's not an effective one. Yes, sir. The serum score is one of the most effective and most effective in the United States. All right, so can you go up there and write that for us? Let's look at number two while she's working. It says swimming is the best all-around exercise for your body. Was that a good one? Yes. yes. Why? Get more details. It's giving you details. It's telling you why. And how. It's telling and how. You why. And why. 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 Why? Okay. What would your first paragraph be? What, what are you saying? You're saying that the, the Sears Tower is exciting, right? So let's do, let's do the others. But we have seen these statements are important. Yes, they tell you what? Details, information, they basically say what you're going to be talking about in the rest of the essay, right? So, for assignments, you have five paragraphs, and they are all in need of thesis statements. So, for each of them, I want you to write a thesis statement for me.